he's going to the Phillies game today. <laughs> Ella had emergency surgery. Look how wavy that gets. I can't even like braid my own hair. I gave her her pain med. What he calls golfer's elbow, which was so good. This is my cat Winnie. <laughs> I just drag it down the stairs. It looks like a bowling shoe. <laughs> oh, and I have to look at flights. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, it's currently Tuesday. I'm starting a midweek vlog. I'll probably just vlog the next like couple days. I wasn't vlogging like this week or last week, but I did like want to start a vlog now because currently Matt's sister is on her way to my house. She has both dogs with her. She's bringing them to stay with me for a little bit. They were at our house last week. And they probably would have still been here, but like a an incident occurred. Basically, Ella had emergency surgery on Saturday night. If you're new here, I have two golden retrievers. They're my boyfriend's parents' dogs, but they come back and forth between their house and my house. And so Ella is the younger of the two dogs. She's a girl, obviously. And she loves to eat everything. And no matter how hard we try to like keep stuff away from her, she'll just find stuff. She'll jump up and grab stuff off the table. And then even like sometimes things will be perfectly fine with her. And then out of nowhere, she'll just decide to eat it. Like she ate part of my dress that was lying on my bed one time and like that's not normally something she would do so it's really tricky sometimes to just make sure that she can't get certain things because sometimes she just doesn't even bother that out of nowhere she'll just suddenly eat it so it's really tricky if you have a golden retriever or any type of dog that has a tendency to do that kind of stuff like Winnie my cat was being a nuisance um this is my cat Winnie if you're new here he's seven months old he's crazy pants so Saturday so Matt's mom brought the dogs to my house on Wednesday of last week and then on Saturday we woke up to her throwing up which is like semi-normal for her because she'll just get into things and eat them and she did get into some tissues on Friday night. So then she threw up Saturday morning and we're like okay that's like somewhat normal for her we'll just keep an eye on her. Fed her breakfast, she ate, she took her outside, she pooped, everything was fine and then like an hour after she had breakfast she just like threw it all up. On the kitchen floor and i was like all right that's not normal so i was like maybe she has an upset stomach maybe she's sick maybe she ate something so then i fed her a little bit of food a few hours later and then within 10 minutes she threw that up and we took her outside to take her on like a small walk just to like maybe like get her body moving maybe it would like shake some things around but then she threw up two more times in the driveway two more times in the road and then we got her home she drank some water and then immediately threw that up so it was stressful because we were like okay we have to get her to the hospital now so matt's mom met me at the animal hospital and then ella had an ultrasound they found a big blockage in her stomach going into her intestine and luckily when they did surgery they didn't have to operate on her intestine which is really good because it's very delicate once they got the blockage out of her stomach everything sort of kind of moved on and cleared itself out is basically what the vet said so She's okay. So she slept over the vet on Saturday night and then Matt's mom picked her up on Sunday. Matt and I went to visit her on Sunday night. I'm sorry, Winnie is just, he's eating. He's playing with a piece of plastic. I probably should have taken her right then and there back to my house, but Matt's mom kind of wanted to keep an eye on her and keep her closer to the hospital or closer to her vet just in case she did need to go in for any reason. She was at Matt's parents and then today Matt's sister is bringing both dogs to me just because I work from home and it's easy for me to keep an eye on her all day whereas no one was going to be home like later in the week at Matt's parents house so so yeah so I kind of wanted to just document this a little bit I was not going to vlog over the weekend when this was all happening because it was just it was very stressful she also <laughs> she also threw up in my car on the way to the hospital then Bailey the other dog didn't want to be near the throw up and then he climbed to the front of the car and then he climbed into my passenger seat while I'm on the highway and then Ella came up in the front too and I'm, I'm on the highway and I'm like freaking out because they're like climbing into the front of my car yes I have the seat belt clip-ins for them but like Matt was the one that put them in the car and then I was in just such the mode of like I have to go and I have to get her to the hospital now that like I just completely forgot about it and honestly they're in the garage somewhere so I like my mind was just not there so yeah so that was a stressful stressful day but hopefully everything is good now i'm just excited to get her here and just under like constant watch she has to be really careful with her stitches she has 16 staples up her stomach which is like 
it's so sad to see but she has to go outside on a leash to go to the bathroom like she can't really go on any walks or anything and she's on pain meds that make her like really sleepy and really tired which is good because it keeps her calm so i'm just i'm happy to have her here and just under like constant watch so long intro but i needed to share that little backstory i feel like there's just always something going on with my dogs always a story yeah happy tuesday i have brought treat run on sunday i'm nervous because it's supposed to rain and if it rains like i am not gonna do it like that sounds like a chicken like i'm chickening out but like i don't want to if it's raining like that's that's just not happening so we'll see hey hey winnie oh hi bud oh <laughs> ella hey 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 no do not go back down the stairs we're not doing that that's too much up and down no 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 come here no 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 okay it's like one o'clock now well almost I gave Ella one of her pain meds. Um, Matt's mom like just wasn't giving her her pain meds because she thought like she didn't need them. But I can only imagine how much pain she's in. She had her stomach cut open and she has stitches not only on her stomach, but she has stitches on her like external abdomen. She has like 16 staples. It's really gruesome. So when she got here, she was like really shaky and she was panting like a lot. So I was like okay she's in pain so i gave her a pain med and um it causes her to like be sedated a little bit like it calms her down which is also good because it keeps her from like hurting herself so she fell asleep she's downstairs in the kitchen i kept going down there to check on her for a while but i think she's just passed out at this point and bailey's down there and winnie so they're all like with her it's very cute i feel like i have a bunch of stuff to do but at the same time i have like my no motivation to do anything i'm also hungry and I don't know what to eat. I never know what to eat. It's like 4 30 my day goes by so fast every single day and it's just like it's truly crazy but i'm putting on socks i want to take them on a walk but i want to go on a walk do you want to go on a walk they have been sleeping for like four to five hours so they need to go on like a little walky walk short walk because ella has her staples and i just don't want her to tear anything that would just be really bad but i think she needs to get out there and get her body moving because she still hasn't pooped since she had surgery i mean she's not throwing anything up meaning stuff is like going through but like it's not coming out the other end yet so i need to set up the rest of these plugs i bought them they're smart plugs why i forgot smart plugs existed i don't know i was literally buying i was literally buying like analog timers for my lamps downstairs like three of my lamps are plugged into like old school like rotary timers which is fine they work they do the job but i completely forgot smart plugs existed <laughs> and these are so much better looking too like this compared to this big fat timers like what was i thinking i have my lamp on my nightstand plugged into one of these so that i can control it from my phone it sounds ridiculous but like i was falling asleep with my lamp on so much but with these you can edit it on the apps it does work with alexa and siri and google but for now i what i normally do like if i'm going to bed and i know i'm going to read and i want my lamp on you can set it on a countdown so that it goes off 
after an hour or you can set it up as a timer on your phone so you can have these all over your house and you can edit all of them oh here's what happened this afternoon oh and i have to look at flights oh gosh i have to call my mom we have to look at flights for going to mississippi my brother and i are gonna go visit our grandma so yeah so we're gonna go walk the dogs then i'm gonna have to look for flights and i'm just gonna possibly run on the treadmill tonight going to run on the treadmill just for like two miles i got ella to poop which was so good but um i don't want to leave here here by herself like i don't want to leave the house so i'm just gonna work out on the treadmill and call it a day and then matt's on his way home and then i'll just run two miles and then go make dinner so easy evening nice I need everyone to see this. <laughs> Even a good angle. <laughs> good morning. Oh, gosh. Today's one of those days I'm just like, I got a lot of sleep, but I'm really tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep two nights ago, so I'm making up for it. And I think I fell asleep with my hair half wet. So, yep, yep, that's that's what happens. Look how wavy that gets. Oh, that happens when I sleep with my hair wet. But, you know, I'm not here to impress anyone. I'm working from my house. I think my highlights are kind of popping today. Anyway, good morning, happy Wednesday. I have my retainers in. I literally woke up and walked to my office. I did not brush my teeth. My retainers are still in. I've not washed my face yet, but the dog's got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go downstairs and go to the bathroom, feed them the whole the whole shebang. My meetings for the day start in like an hour, or so I also need to get myself situated. Hi, Bailey. Here, I'm going to open the shades so that it's bright in here, and then we're going to go downstairs. Okay, bub? Here's breakfast just the usual steel cut oats quaker oats with cinnamon brown sugar blueberries banana almond butter more brown sugar <laughs> it's so good and my latte for my nespresso i'm done with my meeting well i've had two meetings today i still have one at one o'clock but it's like a big company-wide meeting so i don't have to like be on camera or participate i just have to like have it on but i'm doing matt's laundry <laughs> this is how i do laundry I just drag it down the stairs. <laughs> I refuse to use those big plastic hampers. Like those are not for me. These like cloth bags are perfect. Hi, are you doing okay? Oh my God, she's, she's so drugged. Hey, what's wrong? Are you okay? Hi. Oh, okay. Are you doing okay? How are you feeling? You look so drowsy. I gave her her pain med probably at around 10 o'clock. Yeah, so it's like in full effect right now. And it makes her drowsy and tired. But that's good because when I'm busy and working, I don't have to worry about her getting into anything or just being rambunctious. Like she's just calm and sleeping. And then by the time I'm done work, it's starting to like wear off a little so she won't be as drowsy. So then we can go on a walk. All right, we're gonna go on a walk after work, okay? You so good. Are you such a good girl? Yeah, lick. Hi guys, good morning. It's Thursday already, which is crazy. Good morning. I don't know when I stopped vlogging last night. I'm wearing a grout fit again. Today feels like a super weird day. One, because it's like super cloudy and like rainy. And then this morning, Matt, like he's not working today. And he went to like an urgent care, like orthopedic something this morning. Because he has what he calls golfer's elbow. 
but he has to get an MRI because they see something else inside there that like looks weird because he had an x-ray so I don't know it's a whole thing but he has pain meds for that so then he came home and then he's going to the Phillies game today with his parents or no he's going to the Phillies game today with both his siblings and his mom and his grandparents because it's like seniors walk the bases day so they've been planning this for a while and they're so excited and it's gonna be really cute like Matt's grandparents are like the cutest things I only have two grandparents left and they're both my grandmothers but my one grandma you guys know has really bad dementia and she's living in a nursing home and my other grandma she lives in Mississippi so I don't get to see her that much so it's really nice to have Matt's grandparents because they're like they're like my grandparents now like I see them more than I see my own parents at this point like I see them pretty often so they're the cutest things and they're so excited to go to the game and I'm glad that it's like not a super hot day I just think it's like the perfect weather for this so I'm really excited for them I was gonna go actually but there weren't any seats left in their section but it works out really well because I'm here with the dog so <sighs> Yeah, it's like Wayfair day, so I'm trying to pick out like outdoor furniture for Matt and I to like put on our deck. I have to go measure the deck and everything. I want to buy a couch. I'm literally, I'm just gonna freaking buy it at this point. Like I just want a couch, and I really want an outdoor patio, like a like a dining set. But I don't know. I just am like really indecisive with what I want, and like this one I like, but it's like $900, so I'm like not gonna buy that right now. That's all. I just wanted to say good morning. I think I stopped vlogging last night, like pretty early, so. I'll probably end this vlog today too. <laughs> I like I just bought so much stuff and it wasn't like super expensive or anything, but I feel like I just bought so much. I got another Nike running shirt. They're my favorite. I've said this so many times. Like I love like Nike basics. So it's like my favorite brand for basic running clothes. I like it better than Lululemon to be honest. It's a lot cheaper and it's comfier. Their running shirts are $30, which is like super reasonable and then what else did i buy oh i bought stuff on amazon i bought fake tulips and i bought the sleepy hair tie the sleepy tie i've been wanting it for a while and like they keep going in and out of sock it's to help keep your hair like wavy because like i don't do anything to my hair like i never do my hair if i do anything i straighten it and that's that's it i don't curl it i do absolutely nothing to it that's something I want to get better at and like not that my hair is ugly like I'm lucky that I have hair that I don't need to style but it is sometimes it's just like a bit wavy it's not straight but it's not wavy it's just like whatever that is like crimpy I don't know so sometimes I'm like all right I need to figure out how to do my hair I would love to be able to curl my hair I'm just like not good at like that I can't even like braid my own hair like it's like the movements I don't know I know practice makes perfect but it's like weird for me so I bought this sleepy hair tie we'll see if that's good and then lastly oh my god I bought so much stuff I was gonna like I knew I was gonna make this purchase today I bought um every scent that they sell in the road lip peptide <laughs> they restocked the passion fruit scent today and I was like all right like I really want to try all the flavors so I was like I'm also gonna get watermelon and I also was gonna get salted caramel. But then I was using my unscented one the other day and I realized I've gone through so much of it already and I'm like, well, I might as well just get another unscented one while I've already met the threshold of free shipping. <laughs> so why'd I do that? Anyway, that's that. Um, no more shopping. I have 20 minutes until I have another meeting. I'm gonna try to get some stuff done. I need to put all my clothes away that I had hang drying. I need to clean my office. Like my office is just a constant state of disaster because i'm always in here so stuff is just thrown everywhere it's such a mess sitting here and like reflecting like i could like get so emotional and cry right now like i feel so grateful and so blessed and so happy and lucky that i live in a house where i can use an entire bedroom as my office like this is like i'm so used to it and like when i sit back and think about it i'm like like this is insane that like this is like I have my own office like this is so cool I've just never had a room that was separate than my own bedroom like my whole life like growing up like I'm you know you do your homework in your bedroom like I just I never left my bedroom growing up college your dorm is like where you do everything like I did I did all my homework in my dorm I would do my homework in my bed and then my apartment same thing it's like you live in an apartment with roommates so if I'm doing homework I'm in my my bedroom I'm sitting in my bed doing homework and then at Matt's parents, I lived in their attic, which was awesome. But like my desk was like right next to the bed. So like I would get up and go right next to it. And that was my desk. And like I've never had the separation of like work 
and sleep or like work and home ever before especially working from home it's really hard and like not everyone is lucky enough to have a separate room to be their office so sometimes i just sit here and i just like get so overwhelmed with like gratitude that i get to have like like i get to do my work in a separate dedicated room it's so cool like it's it's so exciting anyway i'm gonna get some chores done this vlog is just like today has just been me talking to the camera so that's real fun also wait i want to show these so i got these sneakers and i was like pining after these sneakers for weeks i was like i have to have these so i bought them and then i got them and then the top to me looks like a bowling shoe like i couldn't get over the top of the shoe but i love how they look like i don't know if i really want to return them or not oh my god my meeting like can i even pull these off i feel like i look stupid in them and i think they're a little big i don't know it makes me like want to return them but then like I think they look so cool. I just don't know. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. We're starting. So I think I've decided on this patio set. It's just simple. Comes with the cushions. The cushions are like a nice creamy, whatever. The frame is black and it's just like very simple. I like the design. It's not crazy. So anyway, that's that. I need to go do some measuring. And then I think this is the winner for the couch. It's <laughs> ginormous. It, seats 10 people so it's 10 pieces and then it has two tables that come separate we also have our fireplace that we would put in the middle i think this is enough <laughs> you could figure it like this like you could take these off separately and have them as chairs like whatever so <laughs> hello i just want to go to sleep but he's laying on me licking himself so i don't want to get up Oh, we're never gonna play. Now we're gonna play kill. Attack. Oh, now we're gonna lick. <laughs> Say hello. Say hi, YouTube. Hi. I'm Winnie. And welcome back to my channel. Ouch. <laughs> Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip, whip. Now watch me nay nay. I don't know any TikTok dances, so I can't make you do anything. Soja boy up in the O, want me cranky, want me roll, want me crank that super soldier boy like Superman in the O, I want me you. Crank that soldier boy. Crank that soldier boy. Crank that soldier boy. Crank that soldier boy. Soldier boy, I am you. Oh, I'm going to soldier boy like Superman. Oh, I'm going to soldier boy. I'm going to soldier boy. I'm going to soldier boy. We're going to be sitting. Oh, I'm going to soldier boy. I'm going to be sitting. You look like Puss in Boots. <laughs> he loves licking. He licks so much. And I don't know if it's just like affection or if he thinks that he's grooming me, which is also a sign of affection. But like, is he just bored? So much licking. He loves licking. I want to go to bed, Winnie. You want to go to bed? You were the cutest little thing in the whole world. Can we go to bed now? Do you want to get up? Okay. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Winnie. Hide. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
like, who's there? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.